So this is a little hydroxy gas generator I built over the weekend. And it uses, I think, seven steel plates lined up kind of like this in a plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus configuration. And then there's this plastic rod right here that runs all the way through. There's tiny little spacers and then pneumatic tubing on the ends to act as a cap. It holds it on very tightly and as you can see it's on all four corners so that holds the slightly unevenly flattened plates in place so that they won't short out. And then the positive comes in here and the negative comes in here. It doesn't really matter which orientation because this is reversible. And then to connect all the plates together there's a copper wire right here drilled through and bent. Inside the lid there is a pneumatic barb fitting with a length of pneumatic tubing and a wing nut to hold it on. I have a small rubber washer also if you can see there. Here is a nut and bolt that hold on a hole that I didn't end up using but it just seals it with another one of those rubber washers. This was actually created from an inner tube for a bicycle. And here come the power wires. And so what happens here is these wires are clamped down by these bolts which then go through here using a rubber washer to seal it off with this nut. And also the threads are Teflon taped to prevent hydrogen oxygen gas leakage from there. And then these wires are bent around those to act as the power supply leads and it all fits together in this little uh, coconut oil jar and it screws on tightly and then I'm just using an electrolyte made of tap water about 28 fluid ounces mixed with three tablespoons or maybe it was teaspoons, yes teaspoons of sodium hydroxide. This works very well as the electrolyte although I think with the approximately 3 millimeter plate gap that you can see here and such a strong electrolyte it draws too many amps. I think at about 3.8 volts I'm drawing 44 amps which is quite a lot and it actually makes these little screw terminals quite hot, too hot to touch, but otherwise the generator works very well. I have not experienced leakage so far and it generates a lot of gas very quickly. I'm quite satisfied with how it turned out. Um, one of the problems that it's got is this is just plain steel salvaged from electronics scrap. It's not stainless steel so as you can see there's kind of a bit of rust. There's some more paint over there. So if you leave this in the water it'll rust and even if you take it out it still rusts. But otherwise, it's pretty good for being free.